Now at the end of almost every section of the textbook we're going to do an algebra review because you need to keep sharp in algebra. A lot of things in geometry don't use algebra. So we're going to start out with some of the properties. The commutative, associative, the identity property, and the inverse property. And what I'm looking at is just some examples very similar to what's in the book. So if we take a 2 plus 1 that's equal to a 1 plus 2 and it's the world of addition here. This is commutative. I can turn these things around. If we do it in multiplication, 2 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 2. Both of these are the commutative property. If we look at the associative, which means how do we associate things together, 2 plus 1 plus 3, where I do 2 plus 1 first, is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 3, where I do the 1 plus 3 first. So it doesn't matter which order I do them in as long as they're all addition. Same thing over here in multiplication. 2 times 3 times 4, or 2 times 3 is 6 times 4, it's going to give me 24, or I can do 2 times 3 times 4, or I do 3 times 4 first, which is 12, times 2 is still going to give me 24. So associative property works as long as they're all multiplied, doesn't matter which order. Then there's the identity property, and an example of that is 3 plus anything plus itself, I mean anything plus 0 is itself, so 3 plus 0 is 3. On the multiplication side, the identity property is anything times 1 is itself. So 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Then there's the inverse property. If you add something to its inverse, which in the inverse, if you add a number plus its negative, you get 0. So 7 plus negative 7, or 7 minus 7, is 0. And if you multiply a number by its inverse, which is that number 1 divided by that number, so the inverse of 7 is 1 7th. 7 times 1 7th is 7 divided by 7, or is 1, and that's the inverse property. Okay, now let's look at the problem, some of the other problems that you will have in here. Again, this should all be review. You should be very comfortable with this. Uh, if not, make sure you are. This is, this is uh, x plus x plus x. And anytime we have a variable, we add it, we add the variables together to get 3x in this case. Uh, we have now a 3x cubed is another example, 3x cubed times 2x to the fifth. Now we know we, we take the constants out front, since these are all in terms of x, and we'll have 6 times, and then we multiply the x's together. When you multiply an x cubed to an x fifth, you, they're both the same variable to an exponent, so what you're doing is you add those exponents together, and we get 6x to the eighth. Then we have another example that may have 3 plus 2x, all plus 5x plus 2. Now, again, since this is uh, this is all addition, this is added to this, to this, to this, we don't really need these parentheses, it's all associative. So this is the same thing as 3 plus 2x plus 5x plus 2. And we can see we can now got two things, uh, well, let's just take the 3 plus 2 first, two constants, we'll deal with them, are 5 and we have 2x plus 5x so that we add the, uh, the constant in front to give us plus 7x.